Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the channel mail day video here in the middle of November. I have a bunch of mail here. I've been getting a lot of questions about when the next mail day would be. So we are going to do mail day today uh, and then trash picking will be posted tomorrow. Uh, I do have one more trash picking video to post for the, uh, for the week. So thank you everyone here who sent me mail. If you guys are interested, I'll do another mail time video uh, around the holidays a little bit before it. so if you guys are interested in sending anything for the holidays or just sending anything in general whether it be a letter a postcard a package whatever it might be i will do in our mail day probably around december 15th ish uh and then most likely early january mid january i try to do about once every month or once every two months so thank you everyone who sent packages p.o box information is in the description below if you guys are interested in sending anything uh, I will go through this. If you guys sent me a letter, if it included some sort of gift, or uh, if it includes some sort of gift, I'll definitely read the letter on camera. I did receive a bunch of letters here. We have one from Barry in Connecticut, Karen in Harrisburg, Benjamin in Minnesota, Diana Walker in British Columbia. I know she did send a package as well. Joyce in Ohio. We have a postcard here from Olivia in California. So thank you for everyone who sent letters. I will be reading those off camera. We do have one letter here with a pack or with a gift in it. Brian in Texas. Hopefully it's kind of warm in Texas because it is frigid up here. It was 14 degrees this morning uh, and the pond has a frozen sheet of ice on top of it. Wow. Is there a letter? Oh, there it is. Oh, here we go. Your friend Brian. Canyon Lake, Texas. Warmest thanks. So yes, it is cold. So <laughs> the warmest, it definitely puts a, a damper here. Uh, it's, wow. It's a, 1835, 10 cent piece. Dear Taco Stacks, thanks for hours of entertainment. Here are my oldest silver coins for your collection. Wow. Check out these. I gotta focus. So I do have a slight silver collection that I've been building up. It's only domesticated or American money. I don't really collect international money. And I'm really only kind of collecting the silver coins. I'm not really into, you know, Indian head pennies or rare denominations or whatever you'd like to call it for different kind of coins. There is an 1835 10 cent piece, an 1861 half dime. Those two I definitely know I don't have. 1902 dime, I don't think I have. These other ones I might have, but definitely not these years. A 1917 mercury dime, 1902, 1902 V nickel, a 1941 quarter, 1964 JFK, a 1945 Liberty, and a half dollar Benjamin Franklin 1952. So all these are silver. They're in pretty decent shape. So, wow, Brian, thank you so much for all the silver coins. This is, uh, that means a lot. There, there's definitely some value here. So I know you're definitely parting with some value, but they'll be going to my collection. Uh, I probably have about 50 to 60 coins. I don't have much. I haven't really got into it. It's kind of like stamps. I don't think I'd ever get into stamps, but coins have always had a passion for me. Uh, so thank you, Brian, for the collection of silver coins. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, and hopefully Texas is staying warm for you because it's definitely not warm here. <laughs> here we have a package which feels like a license plate from k, &K in Colorado. They actually put the barcode right over your last name, so I'd have to sharpie that out. Oh, there's the letter. Taco Stacks, don't know if you have, need, or even want a Colorado plate. Anyways, love the channel. Okay, I like this uh, Jerry Scott newspaper comics. As I tear them up, as I try to open this, there's not really the logic there. It's kind of like my channel. There's a lot of things that just, I don't know what I'm thinking half the time. Oh, there we go. Get this one out. I don't know if I have this Colorado plate. I know I think I have the white and green, just the very basic looking. I don't know if I have the one with the mountains on it. It's not really sparking a, a sparking a note in my head. But K and K, thank you for the Colorado license plate. Greatly appreciate it. I believe I don't have this plate, so we'll be going up on the wall. 
Thanks for the license plate. All right, we have another package up here. This one's from Kevin in Savage, Minnesota, which also feels like a license plate. Taco Stacks, card value $25. Ooh. Screwdriver, I was, <laughs> was doing some serious plumbing the other day. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I never put this one away. It was uh, quite the adventure, but everything's all fixed, which is great. It took a couple hours, but we're finished. Jeez. Taco Stacks, while looking for car videos on YouTube, I came across one of your videos. After watching a few of your videos, you hooked me. You hooked me. Your extremely positive attitude as well as the outlook on life just blew me away. I might add that to your work ethic. is absolutely impressive. Oh yeah, there's salsa too. I've sent you a plate for your wall from Minnesota. This is a collector's plate. Any car older than 20 years old can be registered as a classic car. Thus, you have the option of getting a collector's plate for your classic car. Hope you find a place on your wall. Last day, I included a Dunkin' Donuts gift card for $25. Keep living a dream. P.S. My two brothers were born in Philly. I have a PA connection from Kevin. So Kevin sent me this awesome $25 gift card. Greatly appreciate the gift card, Kevin. That will be going to good use. I'd probably go to Dunkin' Donuts probably about two to three times a week. Uh, so that would be going to good use. <laughs> Screwdrivers come in handy. I don't know where I'm Oh, my scissor up there. Oh, definitely don't have this plate. Very simple, very nice, very flat as well. Minnesota black on white collector license plate. Certainly don't have this plate. Thank you, Kevin, for this. Thank you for the gift card. This plate will be going up on the wall. This is in really, really good shape. So thank you, Kevin. Greatly appreciate the license plate and the gift card. Hopefully all is well in Minnesota. Thanks again. There we have a package from Linda in West Virginia. Don't read letter on it. We have a notebook here, a little small notebook. Oh, what are these? Are these buffaloes? They look hand blown. That's what they look like. So a set of two in here. I noticed the box did say fragile, right? So yeah. Very, very cool. Don't really show up as well as they probably could. Yeah, they look like buffaloes. They're a little bison. They got little uh, antlers or horns. Very, very cool. Linda, thank you for the awesome buffalo or bison. Don't think they're my cattle. And thank you for the notebook, Linda. Greatly appreciate that. Keep some of my notes now. I might actually throw it in my van because there's often times where I need to write something down and I don't have a notepad. So thank you, Linda, for the awesome package. And I'll read your letter off camera. Thanks again. I guess we'll go here. Here we have a package from a and in California. Read first. Hey Taco, I found your videos a few months ago and I really enjoy them for some reason. I've tried watching other pickers, but I find most of them annoying and I always go back to yours. I'm watching Reverends now, now that it matters much. I'm watching reruns now, now that it matters much. It seems like new ones because I don't remember most of the stuff you find. I know you aren't crazy about it, but I especially like the videos with the snow. I'm a Central California gal and I haven't been up close and personal with snow in probably 15 years. So next time it snows in PA, send me a box full. The last page is a picture I recently took. Flip the page over and has a picture of Death Valley, not so far from me. So I really appreciate the scenery around you, around your little piece of the world. Now the tins. I collect baseball cards, kind of. I haven't bought any in a while. They just got too expensive. But while I was collecting, I bought several of these tins, which baseball cards came in. Sorry, sorry about the way I packed them. That was the only way I can get them all in one box. You always say... Jeter is the man to look for. Well, last time I checked a couple years ago, the Jeter was a $15 tin. The other ones were listed at $5, so don't scrap them. I include two sets if you want to keep them or sell them. For the little ones, they were never listed in the Beckett bi-monthly. So I don't know how much they are worth, but one has Babe Ruth and another Ted Williams, so they might be worth something. So open the tins and see what treasures the baseball cards are keeping safe for you. 
P.S. My dogs insisted I included a treat for salsa. I think the uh, I think the picture just disappeared. I know you took a picture of Death Valley. I didn't see it there, uh, but we do have a bunch of tins here. You got the Georgia Peach, some inside tins as well. Upper deck, very very cool. This might be a picture. We included a little $2 bill as well. Greatly appreciate that. Tins over here, tins over there, another tin there. Similar tins as well. Here's the treat for Salsa, some chewing bones. She loves this, she loves to chew. But she's not one of those girls that chews on just absolutely everything. Got more tins. And more tins. So lots and lots of tins here. Walter Johnson uh, with a bunch of mini tins inside. Oh, shadows are really messed up. These are really, really cool. Uh, I might use them for something other than baseball cards, storage, or something like that, probably in my barn. Um, thank you so much, a &R, for all these tins. I think I don't see a set of cards unless I'm completely missing them. What? Thank you, A&R, for this. Oh, jeez. Thank you, A&R, for all these wonderful tins, decoratives. I'll probably be using them for some sort of project in the future or some sort of storage way. I do like the baseball memorabilia stuff, especially in hockey memorabilia, uh, because I did uh, enjoy sports so much as a young child. But thank you so much for all the wonderful tins. I will definitely get to using them for some sort of project. They will not be scrapped. Uh, and thanks again, Snuff You or A&R, uh, for the wonderful gift. All right, we have some packages up here. This one does not have a name on it. Looks like a flag of some sort. Dear Taco, just a quick note to thank you for the interesting videos. My daughter is most relieved I get my picking fix through watching since her dream has never been jumping out of the car to grab stuff. No matter how great it is, back in the early 90s, I was a frequent visitor to Rama Jorama State Fair Park, Milwaukee, the largest indoor flea market ever with a wide array of treasures and just plain drunk. We live in Nevada now, and spring and summer rummaging is but a distant memory. It is too hot, so maybe there will be a few sales in March and November, if we're lucky, but it's not the same. I've enclosed a Peanuts flag featuring Charlie Brown and Snoopy. I realize salsa isn't a beagle, but I thought you'd get a chuckle out of it. Anyway, thank you again for keeping me entertained. Amy Teller on YouTube. P.S. It's okay to flea market the flag if you don't have a place for it. I do actually have a whole collection of flags hanging up from my college days in my barn. This is Charlie Brown and Snoopy. That's great. <laughs> so this will be added up to the collection. It's on a wall. I only have about four flags up there, but I'll definitely add it onto that wall stuff. Right now it has a lot of squirrel debris all over it though, so hopefully this doesn't get too dirty. But thank you, Amy, for the awesome flag. Thank you for the wonderful letter, and thanks again. Here we have a package from Mike's Dead Format. He, uh, he sends me a bunch of packages, and this one is also from Palm Coast, Florida. Taco, I needed that. Found this plate and map this weekend. Enjoy. Mike's Dead Formats. My three-year-old works with me. Awesome. Thank you, Mike's Dead Formats. That's an awesome card. Oh, map. Map inside. Map inside. Ooh, ooh this is cool. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I do come across these often, but for some reason, I never find a Pennsylvania one. 
awesome Texaco vintage Pennsylvania map, road map. And we have a license plate here. Oh, don't have this one. This is a new one, South Carolina. Did I read that right? I didn't say South Carolina. Yeah, South Carolina. Very, very cool. Is that palm tree in the middle? Blue and white. First, South Carolina plate that looks like this. So thank you, Mike's Dead Formats, for the awesome plate. Always a great pleasure to get gifts from you. Thank you for the letter as well as the map. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks again. Here we have a package from Diana in British Columbia. I believe Diana is the same one who sent me the polar, polar bear license plate a while back. Hi Taka, here are two more Canadian license plates for you. I know you already have some British Columbia, maybe one or two from Quebec. Not sure if you have all 10 provinces and the territories. Anyhow, these two will help New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. I think you should stop going to Turkey Hill and buying those very unhealthy donuts and cookies. They're definitely not good for you, but I'm glad to see at least that you buy some fruit at the flea market, of course, your bread and butter pickles. Keep doing what you're doing because it is what it is. Peace to you and that beautiful salsa. Diana on Vancouver Island. Oh, oh. That screwdriver's coming back. Oh, never mind. I need that. Ooh. New Brunswick. Picture Providence in like an off-white yellowish color with red. Very, very cool. I definitely don't have this plate. Thank you for that. That's a cool plate. 1969, vintage. It's amazing how some of these things like, I guess that was never used on a car. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, because it's in really, really good shape and it's considered a vintage plate. Nova Scotia, with what looks like a sailboat. Blue and white, very, very cool. Nova Scotia, Canada Plate. Canada's Ocean Playground, 1994. So thank you, Diana, for the awesome two plates. I know I just made a mess here. Greatly appreciate it. Very, very cool. Thank you, Diana, for all the wonderful gifts you've been sending me, and thank you for these plates as well. All right, we're going to get to that in a second. I just threw those over there. We, here we have a package from Angie in Mississippi. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Taco Stacks, I watch your YouTube channel. Enjoy it very much. Sending you to strap to hook your gloves onto while you're not using them. And attaches to your belt buckle. Hope you get some use out of it. Keep doing what you're doing. Your Mississippi watcher, Angie Smith. Interesting. You know what these would be great for? Great for if you had an auction in the winter because it is so cold that you wear gloves, but then you have to like touch something or you take out your bidder's card or something. And then you're like, well, where do I put my gloves if I don't need them? And I was just at auction the other day, which that video will be coming out probably next week, um, early next week, maybe Monday, or maybe I'll do a Sunday video. And I had gloves on and I was like, this is a pain. I wish I would have had this. So. Thank you, Angie, for this. This is going to come in handy. Um, greatly appreciate it. It's amazing, these like random inventions I've never even thought of. But thank you for that, Angie. Thank you for the Squid's, gra the squids Grammar Gancho in red. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. Here we package from Antonio. I know Antonio left a comment earlier this week asking when mail day was going to be. Antonio, here it is. So thank you for this awesome gift from Florida. Oh, taco stacks. Hey, taco, just a note to say I love your videos. You give good tips on the metal and glad you are recycling. I include a vintage t-shirt and some sunglasses from where I work so you can have some Florida sunshine up there in Pennsylvania. Keep living a dream. Your friend, Antonio. All-Star Game, Yadier Molina, 2016, American National. Nationals, this is when they had it at the Padres Stadium. Very, very cool. Thank you for the Yadier Molina t-shirt and then some, some, some Florida sunglasses so I can get 
some Florida sunshine, which I absolutely need up here. I, I, my neighbor was actually talking about this the other day. He was saying how in like five years, ten years ago, he's moving to Florida or Georgia or somewhere because he cannot take these winters any longer, and I might be closely behind him. Bush Gardens. All right, got some bush gardens. Ooh, he's actually really in good shape. Constructed very, very well. Some bush garden sunglasses. Thank you, Antonio, for the sunglasses. Hopefully you are staying warm. I know it's probably around, what, 70s or 80s down there in Florida. It sounds amazing. Uh, thank you for the awesome gifts, Antonio. Thank you for the sunglasses and the t-shirt. Thanks. Here we have a package from Goodrich Betsy in New Hampshire. Oh, what are these? Taco enclosed is a set of light tacos. Also a penguin, your favorite animal. Enjoy, Betsy. I enjoy your vlogs, garbage picking, and all the treasures you find. Thank you, Betsy. So yeah, the, oh, these are actually string lights, room essentials and tacos deflection off this table it's making some of these showings pretty difficult but they're a bunch of tacos they're string lights i assume the tacos yeah the tacos probably light up probably in yellow i would hope uh, then we have a penguin here i got penguin ornament wall cleaner window cleaner these were really really hot in college i remember pretty much walking to almost any dorm room Everyone always seemed to have these things or something similar to them. They light up your room, sort of. Well, it's kind of like stained glass, I guess you can say, in a way. So, Betsy, thank you for the awesome wall window cleaner as well as the lights. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the wonderful compliments as well. Here we have a package from Miss Arlene G in Canada. Uh, screwdriver, lifesaver. Oh, taco stacks. See a picture of a salsa as well. Dear Taco Stacks, I've been watching your videos for almost two years now. I find it very interesting what people throw away in the trash. It takes a guy like you to come along to take it away from the landfill. But try to keep the earth clean. I'm glad that you and Salsa can live the dream with your recycling metals and from what you can do from the trash. Keep being safe while picking trash. I'm sending you two number plates, a hat, a penguin. It's made out of a light bulb tree ornament. Hope you'll put it on your Christmas tree for you to enjoy year after year. Peace. Keep living the dream. Hope you and Salsa will have a very good Christmas and a very good New Year for 2020 with peace and health. Arlene. Thank you, Arlene. Hope you as well. And you know what? This year might be the first year I'll ever get... Uh, a Christmas tree in the house, like a real one. I think, uh, I, I just think about all the pine needles like everywhere. Maybe I'll just like decorate one of my other pine trees in my driveway, but uh, they will not be going on a tree outside. If that's the case, so we have a hat here. Ooh, that's kind of cool, pink. Pink Tacos Vegas. <laughs> With the taco theme here, we got a pink tacos hat. Oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. It feels like a light bulb. That's an interesting invention. It's literally a light bulb. It's a penguin on a light bulb. It might not like really look like that, but if you're holding it, you can really feel like the glass and be like, yep, this is 100%. And then lastly, we have a couple, looks like vanity style plates here. Yeah, United States of America dollar bill, hundred dollar bill. These are the old ones. They don't even make these anymore. Uh, license plate. Now we have a Nova Scotia celebrating 250 years of democracy. Very very cool. Arlene, thank you for the wonderful gifts. Thank you for the wonderful vanity style decorative license plates, the hat, the light bulb ornament, which has now inspired me to probably get a tree this year. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Hopefully everything is going well for you as well and enjoy 2020 and hopefully it'll be a good one for you. 
to enjoy as well. Thanks. So it looks like we have about three more packages here. We have this package here on the right from Veronica in Flippin, Arkansas. I still have the Flippin, Arkansas t-shirt from last year, which I think was like, it was a spring. It was like a lime green. Uh, still have that t-shirt laying around. I do see it quite often. Worn it as an undershirt for a couple videos. Hello, Taco Stacks. Hope that you enjoy the goodies, like the bread and butter. If you like bread and butter pickles, they will like the green tomato pickles. The salsa is good at everything. I wish that you would try one of the tomato pickles so that I can see if you like them. Please have a great day, Veronica. Daily history, 366 days of interesting historical facts, 2020. Well, Chicken fajita seasoning. Very, very cool, interesting. There's some interesting products here. Red tomato pickles. Oh, more taco seasonings. There we go, some taco seasoning, seasonings. Packed extremely well. I gotta say that. You packed this extremely well. Homestyle peach jam. Good old peach jam. Jam is amazing. Mild salsa as well. Thank you for that. Mr. Uh, Miss Renfro's. Mild salsa and mild salsa, but different containers. I wonder if they taste any different. We will see in a couple days. Salsa and chips is just amazing. I know it's weird like to say the name salsa now, now that my dog's name is salsa. Salsa and chips are just, they're really good. All right, here we have Mrs. Renfro's green tomato pickles. Still sealed. Oh, are these like, what is this? They're an interesting taste. I like them. I don't, I don't know what they taste like, something. They don't really taste like tomatoes, they don't taste like pickles. I don't know what they... Tastes like, like a kind of soup. If you get soup, tomato soup, I, I, I don't really eat that much soup. Tastes like something. I do like the little kick on them. They have a little bit of kick, so that's really good. Green tomato pickles, Mrs. Renfro's. Uh, is this Bayou? This isn't, well, the distribution is Texas. So, interesting. Thank you for all the seasonings. Thank you for the pickles. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you, Veronica, for the wonderful gifts. As always, greatly appreciate. Thank you. Uh, these will definitely be going to good use here within the next couple of weeks. So, thanks again. All right, here we have a package from Ariana in Germany, I believe. I believe this is Germany. Uh, I believe you also sent me a bunch of packages from Florida, if that is correct. I got someone mixed up, I apologize, but. Ooh. I don't see a, a letter in here. This thing. <laughs> That's a good one. What is that? Oh, German. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, here's the letter. So last year I had a bunch of international candies as well, and I munched on them hard. I literally like, polished through them. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. This one is addressed to Taco for you. Dear Taco and Salsa, I got you some gifts. I hope you'll enjoy them. You can keep them or sell them, it's up to you. Thanks for the great videos. Yours, Ariana. Thank you, Ariana, for the wonderful gifts. This uh, really, really cool sign. I don't know if you got it custom done, but I'll show that in a bit. Here we have some chocolate, looks like. 
milk chocolate in German, so I just hope it's milk chocolate that I'm eating, because I don't speak German. We have a t-shirt here, it's a Harley Davidson t-shirt. Size small, but it looks pretty big. That's actually a really cool shirt. South Germany. I don't ever come across international ones. If I do, they're always Canadian. That will fit. That will fit. And I love the color on this shirt. Love it. Here we have a bar. Is this a copper bar? I don't know if this, this thing is heavy. Gigar. Find Uber. 500 grams. Whoa. I think that's copper. I think it's a copper bar. That's cool. So one thing I really like about all precious metals, copper is, uh, I guess you would call it non-ferrous. Now I don't know if it would be considered precious metal, but I love the bars. Bars and coins. I'm not a huge person of like collecting jewelry, but bars and coins. This is my first bar of anything. This will definitely be added to, I guess, my silver collection of coins. Uh, I'm not scrapping this. This is really, really cool. So thank you, Ariana, for that. That is amazing. My first copper bar, and I honestly say this thing probably weighs like two pounds. I don't know what 500 grams is. Might be a pound. It's surprisingly very, very heavy. This sign is amazing. Metal as well. This thing is sweet. It's two signs. What's going on? This is like... That's cool. What's this other side? One's wrapped up. It's a dually. I think we got two signs here that say, it is what it is. Kind of like a fence, like a, a sign they put like on your fencing. This is, this probably won't show up too well. Oh, there you go. Gotta put like a white background. There you go. Is that gonna show up? It is what it is. That is awesome. One will definitely go on up to the warehouse, and then I think one will probably go in the garage. Don't really have much wall space other than that. It would actually look really nice in the house, but I don't know where I'd really put that. Hmm. I'm trying to think where I'd put that. Above that window would kind of look cool, but I'll try to figure out that for another time. One is definitely going up in the warehouse, probably right above the door, so. Greatly appreciate that, Ariana. That is awesome. Thank you for the t-shirt. Thank you for the chocolate, the copper bar. Greatly appreciate that. Thanks again for the wonderful gifts. Thanks again. Alrighty, last package here. We have a package from Jay in Georgia. Uh-oh, Jay's hooking up with a sweatshirt, and it's sweatshirt season. Picture, I believe, of Jay. I don't know if Jay wants to see himself on camera. Hey Taco, someday you said that you would peel back a sweatshirt and there they would be. Well, here they are. Love <laughs> your blogs. Thank you for filling my life with adventures, following the dreams. Yours in J, or yours in GA, Georgia, by J. There she is. There she is. Pittsburgh Steelers. This sweatshirt is heavy. Very, very cool, heavyweight Reebok hooded sweatshirt. Greatly appreciate this, Jay. Very, very cool. You'll see this in future videos. Looks like it's very, very warm. And a good old Tommy Sport t-shirt. That's what it looks like. Tommy Sport. Tommy Sport. Is this thing even... There you go. Oh, these are like... These are really cool. They're, they're like swimming trunks. These are awesome. I might have myself my own pair of swimming trunks now. Jay, thank you for hooking it up. Brand new with tags, Tommy Sport swimming trunks. I don't think these are actually just like shorts. They could be. That's why I'm probably going to use them because I don't go swimming that much. Jay, thanks for the awesome gifts. Thank you for the awesome sweatshirt. Thank you for the awesome shorts as well. Greatly appreciate that, man. That's awesome. 
Finally, I don't have to wear the same, <laughs> wear like the same shorts every single day, whenever it's like summer, which is a problem. Well, I don't wear the same shorts. I wear like the same three or four shorts, but they're always the same khaki color. Now I was hooking it up a little bit with some burgundy shorts in there, but finally have something that's a little bit different. So thanks for that, Jay. And thank you to everyone who sent me wonderful gifts for this mail day video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are curious, I will be doing one more mail day video for the remaining of this year, probably around mid-December. If you guys are interested in sending any sort of package, gift card, letters, postcards, or anything, I will open them up on camera. If you guys don't want to be open up on camera, you can write it on the box or you can include it on the front of a letter and I will remove it from the video. Or I'll just say thank you to such and such and the video or the package won't be opened up. If you guys want to open up, I will open up anything as long as it doesn't say that don't open up uh, on YouTube. So. One more mail day video, middle of December. If you guys are interested in sending anything, P.O. Box information is in the description below. To everyone who sent me wonderful gifts this time, thank you so much for another wonderful mail day video. Catch up with you guys tomorrow. Thanks again for all the wonderful gifts, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.